Hi guys, this is Harry from Sologist and today I have the great pleasure of unboxing the latest commercial inverter from SMA Australia. This is of course the Core 2 110 kilowatt and with me today is Jamie from SMA Australia joining me and also answering some of those frequently asked questions. Awesome, thanks for having me Harry. Excellent mate. Look, I want to just start off, would you mind just explaining to us the differences, the key differences between the Core 2 and the Core 1? Absolutely. So the Core 1 is a 50 kilowatt inverter, mainly designed for the small commercial market. The Core 2 has twice the capacity at 110 kilowatts, and it's got more benefits and features than the Core 1. It's mainly suited for the larger commercial projects, and it's got a lot of uh, key benefits that I want to highlight. So before we take you through all the key benefits on the Core 2, why don't we just open the inverter and see what's in there? Excellent, Jamie. Looking forward to it. Just give me one second. I'll get the knife. Okay. And we'll start. SMA has put a lot of thought and we listened to the market and we came up with a solution to make it very safe, and very, very quick for the installer to get it out of the box, straight into the wall. That's excellent. So would you mind just uh, walking us through some of this componentry? Yeah, absolutely. We've got here the mounting rails, we've got the handles, which uh, are great for transporting the inverter and in a very safe way. And then we also got this little box here with the inspection report, but also all the nuts and bolts and also the Sunclix connectors, which should make your life a lot easier when installing the strings to the inverter. Looking at this inverter, it's 110 kilowatts. It's a new commercial inverter, Core 2 from SMA. First question is, can I install a 100 kilowatt system on this? Yeah, it's a good question, Harry. It's really subject to approval from the local DNSP. But in theory, yes, it can be connected to a 100 kilowatt system. Excellent, excellent. As we see uh, modules increasing in efficiency, but limitation on their size, so that 72 cell now, where it used to be somewhere in the vicinity of 400, they're starting to go to 450 now, and we're seeing heights of 500, the bifacial panel. Is it able to be installed on this uh, lovely inverter today? Yeah, uh, fair enough. Uh, everything is getting bigger and better, and the core two is not different. Yeah, absolutely an inverter that can work with all the new panels we're seeing in the market. It's ticking a lot of boxes there, Jamie. That's great to see. What I want to also ask you about is the combiner boxes necessary with this inverter. We see with a lot of these 100 kilowatt plus inverters, it's combiner boxes only. Does it need those? Nope, no combiner boxes require. So you save on equipment, but you also save on time on site by not having to install any combiner boxes also less equipment that you need to look after when a system's already on the roof. Just getting on to the more on the inside of the inverter, the commercial inverter, 12 MPPTs, right? Correct, yeah. Look, um, the 12 MPPTs uh, should give the designers and installers a lot more flexibility in terms of uh, how they're gonna use the inverter, whether they're designing a rooftop or a ground mount system, the inverter with 12 MPPTs gives you more flexibility on how you're going to maximize the yield of the unit. That's excellent stuff. That's really, really cool. I can just imagine that gum tree right at the end of the rooftop and then you've got bits and pieces flying around. So obviously that's to help that shade and to obviously offset that, right? Yeah, but also if you think of ground mount systems, the ground is going to have different slopes. So it's going to have different orientations and same with roofs. You're going to have different roof at uh, different tilts and different orientations. So the 12 MPPT should really maximize the way the inverter performs. Awesome stuff. Look, just getting in there, now I want to get into the physical nature of the commercial inverter. And we're talking about the cooling fans, right? So you have the cooling fans. Are they easily modular, easy to access and that sort of stuff? Yeah, oh. Absolutely, there is a fan board that slides out, so you can easily replace it if you need to. Oh, that's excellent. I know a lot of techs, and I would suspect a lot of installers love modulization, so obviously that's been thought of um, with this uh, inverter. Look, I noticed that there's an IP66 anti-corrosion. Give us a little bit more detail about that. Again, I think the name of the game is flexibility these days, and the fact that this is an IP66 rated unit and also C5 corrosion rated, it just gives you a lot of options in terms of uh, where you're gonna use this inverter. Anywhere near the coastline or in, a, in an outdoor environment, you can place the unit knowing that it's gonna work absolutely fine. Now we talk about SPD, which is obviously your surge protection. 
Obviously, surge protection is a big factorization in the after sales service. We know that there are areas out there, like in regional areas, once again, going back onto the ground mount, I'm really picking on that ground mount scenario, but it is certainly one of the things that's growing out there in the marketplace. Um, with the SPD, what's the deal with this one? Yeah, tick the box on that one. Uh, it already comes included in the inverter, so you don't need to worry about including that as part of the design. It's already included in there. Well, you've lost me now. I've got to find other features and benefits where I can do the after sales service. You've left me just the label kit, I think, in the end of the day. So you've got the DC isolator, you've got the fans included in terms of replacement modulization, and also at the same time, you've got the surge protection device. Yeah, look, uh, again, it comes down to more options, more integration and more performance. Those are the key benefits that the Core 2 offers over all the other products we have in the market. That's great stuff. Look, they talk about OptiTrack in the past and now in the future, we're hearing a lot about shade management within SMA on these inverters. Can you tell us a little bit about that and just elaborate for us, mate? Yeah, sure, Harry. The shade management feature is a freely integrated software that comes with all inverters and the idea is to maximize the energy yield under shaded conditions. So that's included already with all the inverters we have in the market and you don't need to purchase anything else, it just comes with the inverter. Another unique feature for SMA products and as soon as you commission one of these units, it comes uh, automatically as part of the smart connected program. So by that, you have access to monitoring, which gives the installer peace of mind and gives SMA the ability to have a proactive and reactive type of service if anything goes wrong with the unit on the field. What I've got here is obviously your latest, um, <clears throat> latest items, which is called the NXOS, along with the E-meter. That can be integrated in certain profiles like that. What's your take on that, mate? Yeah, look, uh, monitoring of systems is very important and the unit can easily be monitored via an ethernet cable. However, if you wanted to have access to the data online and you also wanted to manage the settings of the units, you need to install one of these little units. So this is a Data Manager M, and this will give you access to the NXOS platform mm -hmm. so you can integrate with the, most of the DNSPs will like to control the inverter at some point, and that's something we can offer via Data Manager M and the E-meter. So definitely two powerful units that we want to get in the market and give installers more options to maximize, maximize the return on investment of all the projects out there. I don't want to take the shine off the uh, core two, but we would love to do a deeper dive with those two items in the future. So yeah, to look at those and the powerfulness of the NX OS uh, platform, the data manager, um, I'd love to take a really good look at it and obviously have you there to explain a little bit of detail on that. We can do that on a later stage. However, what I want to do now is really wrap it up and take your final notes on the core two. Look, great product. Um, I think uh, we're getting really good feedback from the market. The product has been selling like hotcakes in Europe and we're seeing a great demand for the large commercial projects in Australia. So we're very excited to launch the product in the, in the market. And I think we're gonna have the first units arriving at the end of November, beginning of December this year. That's great, Jamie. And also from uh, Solar Juice Australia, we're also getting a lot of pre-orders at the moment. So what we wanna do is we wanna get those units as soon as we get them, we wanna hit the ground running, we we'll get them to our customers' hands ASAP. So please guys, put your pre-orders as soon as you can. Uh, get to your BDM at Solar Juice and make sure that they do put the order down and lock in your stock. Now from myself and the Solar Juice team over at uh, Weatherall Park Australia, I'd like to say thank you for joining us and also to Jamie from SMA Australia.